Hi guys, Chris here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be playing Phase 10 Chooses My TBR for January. I will also talk about a few of the other books that I hope to get to in the month of January. Hey everyone, Editing Chris here. Just wanted to add a little note to this video. I know it's going up really late, but I filmed this video before Christmas and then right after Christmas, my gram went into the hospital and videos kind of became something that I put on the back burner. She's doing much better now, so I'm finally getting around to editing this. I also realized that when I filmed this, I forgot to note how I was doing with my books in December. I managed to read everything I said I was going to read except for four of them, which luckily I had two skips and two phase 10 phases that I had completed. So I had said in the original video that I knew I wasn't going to do a try again author and I was going to use a skip on that. I used my other skip on lowest rated, which was Flying by Carrie Jones. I then used one of my phase 10 completions as a swap and I swapped out dark cover, which originally was Black Sun, and instead I used the Afterlife of Holly Chase for this. And I used my last Phase 10 completion as another skip, and I used this on Stamped from the Beginning, as I just did not get time to sit down and read that big nonfiction in December. It was just too busy of a month, and I had to return it to my library because it was so popular, but I did not have to take any punishment draws in December. So I just wanted to check in and let you guys know what had happened. And now back to the video. As you can see, the board is set up for this month. I've taken down all my draws from last month. So very many draws. They are all right here. They're now back in the deck. Hopefully I will get less wilds this month. My draw pile is here. I have a die in case I need it. And these are my extra prompts. Last time I managed to get my set of four and my run of four, which means I just need to fill in a few more spots to complete another phase. So let's get started. First, a blue 10. Prompt for blue 10. Is audio or ebook? That one should be quite easy to fill, actually, as I listen to audiobooks every month. So we'll replace that. First up, as you saw, I got audio or ebook, and for this, I will be listening to The Sight by Aaron Hunter. This is the first book in the third arc of six for the Warriors series. If you're new to my channel, Warriors follows clans of forest cats who have to try to live together in harmony, which doesn't always work, and they focus on taking care of their clanmates while also trying to deal with the other clans. I am currently doing a reread of this series, and this is the next book that I need to pick up. Draw number two. A wild, which means I'm definitely going to have a punishment in January. Draw number two, try to, is a yellow 11. The prompt for yellow 11 is finish a series. Okay, we'll replace the blue 11. Yellow 11. I'm starting out great here, mixing up my colors. Next, I got Finish a Series, and for this, I will be reading Calamity by Brandon Sanderson. This is the third book in the Reckoners trilogy. I read the second book last month and was still really enjoying the series, and I knew I didn't want to put the third book off too awful long, so when this came up, I knew it was a no-brainer to finish this. 
this book follows David who lives in a world where certain people have like superpowers but they don't use them for good and one of these supercharged individuals has killed his father and he spends years wanting revenge and he ends up trying to find a way to team up with the group known as the Reckoners who has been taking out these supercharged individuals. I'm not quite sure how this series is going to end. I do know that the way book two ended made me want to immediately pick up book three, so I'm really happy that I get to read this book this month. Draw three. Okay. I'm going to stick that over here as part of my run, and I will go with a green 12. Green 12 is new to me author. Replace green 12. Next, I got new to me author. And for this, I'm going to read Upon a Burning Throne by Ashhawk K. Banker. I hope I said their name right. Um... This is the first book in the Burnt Empire Saga. It says, In a world where demigods and demons walk among mortals, the emperor of the vast Burnt Empire has died, leaving a turbulent realm without an emperor. Two young princes, Audrey and Shavat, I hope I said their names right as well, are in line to rule, but birthright does not guarantee inheritance, for any successor must sit upon the legendary burning throne and pass the test of fire. Imbued with dark sorceries, the throne is a crucible, one that incinerates the unworthy. Adri and Shavab pass the test and are declared heirs to the Empire, but there is another with a claim to power, another who also survives, a girl from an outlying kingdom. When this girl, whose father is the powerful demon lord Jarson, is denied her claim by the interim leaders, Jarson declares war, vowing to tear the Burnt Empire apart, leaving the young princes, Adri and Shavat, to rule a shattered realm embroiled in rebellion and chaos. This sounds like quite the interesting book, and the cover is just gorgeous. So, I am definitely looking forward to seeing if I enjoy this new author. Draw four. Has completed my phase as this would give me my run. So I'm definitely going with a red 10. The prompt for red 10 is randomize my TBR. I added up the books on both shelves, came up to 109 and then randomized it. As you saw, I randomized my TBR, which I took my books from 2019 and 2020. Even though I do have a shelf for books I got before 2019, I'm still working on getting books on it and then I have to sort through it. So I'm not using that one yet. I'm just using my 2019 and 2020 books. And for that, I ended up getting The Wild Ones, Moonlight Brigade. This is the second book in this series and it follows a raccoon whose parents are murdered by the fleeless and the fleeless are animals who have um human owners and he ends up going and finding his uncle and from there he has to kind of finish what his parents were doing and why they were murdered i thought the first book was pretty enjoyable so i'm really glad that i didn't have to wait long to pick up the sequel and hop back into kids adventures Okay, so we've got to start over now. So let's get those off the board. So phase four is a run of seven. I have my new cards up on the board. And put my deck back. As you can see, I have a couple of options, but I still have a ways to go. So draw five. Oh, wait, let's replace the red 10 that I have over there. Also, keep in mind, all of the cards from 
the last phase are now back in the deck, which means this deck is now filled with wilds again. And with my luck, I will probably draw all of them. <laughs> okay, draw five. It's a yellow five. Ooh, okay. Read a book published in my birth month. So my birth month is February, so I will have to find a book that was published in the month of February. We'll place that. Next, I got book published in your birth month, and my birth month is February. So this book was published on... February 6th, 2018, according to Goodreads, and it is Maribel and the Book of Fate by Tracy Barrett. I believe this book follows Maribel, who's grown up knowing her brother is the chosen one, and one day her brother is kidnapped, and she has to go on a quest to save him and save her kingdom. I don't know too much more about this book, as it's one of the newer ones I've gotten, but it sounds pretty decent, and it was also published in February, so it will fulfill the prompt. Draw six. This is a blue six. I got Mythology. that. Next up I got Mythology and for this I'm going to read Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky by Kwame Mbolia. I hope I said that right. I don't know much about this book so let me see what Goodreads says. Seventh grader Tristan Strong feels anything but strong ever since he failed to save his best friend when they were in a bus accident together. All he has left of Eddie is the journal his friend wrote stories in. Tristan is dreading the month he's going to spend on his grandparents' farm in Alabama, where he's being sent to heal from the tragedy. But on his first night there, a sticky creature shows up in his bedroom and steals Eddie's journal. Tristan chases after it. Is that a doll? And a tug of war ensues between them underneath a bottle tree. In a last attempt to wrestle the journal out of the creature's hand, Tristan punches the tree, accidentally ripping open a chasm into the mid-pass. A volatile place with a burning sea, haunted bone ships, and iron monsters that are hunting the inhabitants of this world. Tristan finds himself in the middle of a battle that has left Black American gods John Henry and Br'er Rabbit exhausted. In order to get back home, Tristan and these new allies will need to entice the god Anasi, the weaver, to come out of hiding and seal the hole in the sky. But bartering with the trickster Anasi always comes at a price. Can Tristan save this world before he loses more of the things he loves? So basically when I saw I Got Mythology, I went to the Rick Riordan Presents page as I've looked at it before and knew all of those books sounded interesting and I picked one and this was the one I picked. So I requested this from the library and hopefully it will get to me in time for me to read it in January. Draw seven. Okay. Let's see. Can I move my wild? Yes, I can make my face, so hang on. I'll be back with you in just a second. Okay, so I have a run of seven now. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus, I can use my eleven. So for this prompt, I will go with a red four. And this is old favorite author again. Next up, I got Old Favorite Author, and for this, I'm going to be reading Wayside School Beneath the Cloud of Doom by Louis Sacker. I found out recently that there was a fourth book in this series, and I was so excited. I love the Wayside Story series. I've reread it in the last few years, and 
I still love them now. This was a childhood fave of mine. So I am quite looking forward to jumping back into this world with these characters. Like you guys have no idea how excited I was when I saw that he had written a new book in this world. So I was excited when old favorite author came up because this is the perfect opportunity to dive back into this world. Draw eight. Is a red eight? Now that my phase is complete, I can't like swap out this eight for the wild and move the wild. Once I use the wild and use it as my phase, I cannot swap it out. So red eight. A colorful cover. Place that. Next up, I got Colorful Cover, and for this, I'm going to be reading Mr. Lemoncello's Library Olympics by Chris Grabenstein. As you can see, this cover is very colorful, both on the front and the back, and so it definitely fulfills this prompt. This is the sequel to Escape from Mr. Lemoncello's Library, which I read last month and really enjoyed. In that book, we followed Kyle, who was one of 12 kids who won a contest to spend the night in the new library. When they got up the next morning, they found out they couldn't get out of the library and had to figure out a way to escape. It was kind of like an escape room, but out of the library. And I thought that was a very interesting book and am excited to be getting back into the series and reading more of Kyle's adventures. Draw nine. Draw nine helps me complete my phase because now I can put the two and the three on there and that'll be a completed phase. So I will be using the red five obviously for draw nine and red five is Instagram pick. So I will go through a currently reading tag on Instagram and the first book I see on the currently reading tag that I want to read is the book that I will be reading this month. As you can see, I am scrolling through the currently reading tag. I stopped at this pile to see what was in it and I noticed there was Kingdom of the Wicked. I knew that was a book that I wanted to read, but that it was also pretty new and I wasn't sure I would be able to get it from my library right away. So I decided to continue scrolling to see if I could find another book that I was interested in that maybe wouldn't be as hard to get from my library just to have a bit of a backup. I was expecting to find more books I was interested in more quickly, but I came across The Midnight Library, which I also knew I wanted to read. But again, I had seen that everywhere on BookTube, so I knew it was pretty popular. So I continued to scroll looking for another book just in case. And that was when I came across Rebecca. Next up, I got Instagram pick. And as you can see, I paused on three books. The first of which is Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. I really enjoyed her Stalking Jack the Ripper series. So when I saw that she had a new book out, I knew I was going to want to read it. So I've requested that from my library and I'm hoping it gets to me. If not, then my second choice would be The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. I enjoyed his middle grade series surrounding Christmas and I am quite looking forward to seeing what this book is about because it seems like I can go anywhere without seeing somebody talking about this book. I don't know too much of what it's about so I would kind of be going in a bit blind but that's totally okay with me. And then the third book I came across was Rebecca by Daphne de Maurier. This is another book I sort of know some stuff about, but I couldn't tell you what it was about without reading it. So the description on Goodreads says, last night I dreamt I went to Manderley again. The novel begins in Monte Carlo, where our heroine is swept off her feet by the dashing widower Maxim de Winter and his sudden proposal of marriage. Orphaned and working as a lady's maid, she can barely believe her luck. It is only when they arrive at his massive country estate that she realizes how large a shadow his late wife will cast over their lives presenting her with a lingering evil that threatens to destroy their marriage from beyond the grave. So I would be cool with reading that one too. 
like I said, I've requested both Kingdom of the Wicked and the Midnight Library from my library, but they're both new and popular books, so I might not be able to get those. So I also requested Rebecca, and it looks like I should definitely be able to get my hands on that one. I've wanted to read more classics, and I know that Murphy Napier loves this book and has raved about Rebecca on her channel, so I've wanted to get to this anyways. So if this ends up being the choice for this prompt, then I'm totally fine with that. But I will be reading one of those three books for Instagram pick. Let's replace that prompt. And I'll be back with you in a second with the redone board. So phase five is a run of eight. As you can see, I have a lot of work to do for this phase. So let's go to draw 10. Okay. I think it'll be easier to go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, than it will be to fill in this hole. So I'll stick up my red three and I will snag a green 11. And prompt 10 is middle grade. Next, I got middle grades. So for this, I'm going to read Ghosts of Green Glass House by Kate Milford. This is the sequel to Green Glass House, which follows Milo, who lives at a smuggler's inn with his parents. And I know that one was set at Christmas time. I don't know about this one, but I really enjoyed Milo and the characters we came across in the first book. So I'm curious to see what happens with Milo and the inn in this book. So those are the ends of my regular prompts. Move this out of the way. Now it is time for my wild roll. I take a die. Whatever number the die lands on, that's how many books I have to read as my punishment prompt. So let's see. We have three. So right in the middle of the road. Not bad. I was really worried it was going to be worse. So for wild draw number one, we have a skip, which I don't know that I'll need this month. So as, as I already have my two completed phases, which means I now have one book I can skip and then two books that I can either skip or swap out mid-month for a different book that fits that prompt. So draw one, try two is a yellow two. Favorite trope. I'm going to have to give that one some thought. I'm not sure off the top of my head what my favorite trope is. We'll replace that prompt. Whoops, and I never replaced the green 11 either. So let's replace that one too while I'm at it. And actually, this should go there because that was on top. So this one should actually be yellow too. Next up, I got favorite trope. And... I don't know that I necessarily have like a top number one favorite trope, but a trope I do like is when I read a book with found family. And so for this, I'm going to read Hollow Pox, The Hunt for Morrigan Crow. This is the third book in the Nevermore series, which follows Morrigan Crow, who is cursed to die on her 11th birthday until Jupiter North whisks her away to Nevermore. I would definitely say that since she was in Nevermore, Morrigan has definitely created a found family as she's grown to love the people she's with. And this is one of my most anticipated reads this year. So it was a no brainer to stick this on my TBR for January. Wild draw number two is a blue one. And we have newest purchase. 
kind of ripped the card there a little bit. Next, I got newest purchase, and for me, that would be one of my book of the month picks, and that would be Legendborn by Tracy Dion. I know this is a YA fantasy, and I believe it is in Arthur retelling. Yeah, it, it's an Arthur, like King Arthur retelling, and I don't know much more about that, but the cover is stunning, and I've heard some people rave about this book, so when I saw that it was an option for book of the month last month, I snagged it, and I'm quite looking forward to reading it. Let's replace that. And the final draw, hopefully, draw number three, <sighs> is another wild, so it's not my final draw. So, my final draw, part two, is a yellow five. Yellow five is book of the month. So for that, I'll have to read one of the book of the month books I have on my TBR. Next, I got book of the month. And for this, I decided to read The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley. I read The Guest List last year and really loved it. A New Year's reunion in the remote Scottish wilderness. The beautiful one, the golden couple, the volatile one, the new parents, the quiet one, the city boy, the outsider. One of these friends is a murderer and one won't make it out alive. Join the party now. That is really all I want to know as it's a thriller and I prefer to know as little as I can about my thrillers before I go into them. But since I like the first book I picked up by Lucy Foley, I am looking forward to seeing if the second book lives up to the first book standards. So we'll move these out of the way. And let's see what how many books I will be reading for wild number two. One. The die was nice to me. Unless, of course, the first thing I pull is another wild. Which could be. So, hopefully my last draw is a yellow nine. Oops. Let's replace my yellow five that I forgot to do and then we'll draw my yellow nine this is the first time I believe I've gotten to draw a nine because it feels like every other phase that I was doing had nines in it so my yellow nine is sci-fi and let's replace the yellow nine And we're done for this month. And my last book for Phase 10 chooses my TBR with sci-fi. For this, I'm going with another book of the month pick with The Space Between Worlds by Micaiah Johnson. Um, this book follows a girl who lives in a world where we found alternate worlds. And you can only travel to an alternate world if the version of you is dead on that world. And our main character is dead on a lot of worlds so she is one of the perfect candidates to go world hopping and I believe she finds out that the reason she's dead on so many worlds is because somebody is killing her and then she, on these worlds and she has to figure out why but I'm not 100% positive I do know it's sci-fi and that means it'll cover the prompt and I've heard several people say that they really enjoyed this book so I'm looking forward to seeing if I enjoy it too. Now, for books that have nothing to do with my Phase 10 TBR, first up, I'm going to talk about the Buzzwordathon. This is hosted by Kayla from Books and Lala. I will leave her announcement video and her channel linked in the description below. Normally, what Kayla does with Buzzwordathon is picks a word that she has frequently on her bookshelf and then throughout the month tries to read as many books with that word in the title as she can. This year, she is doing something a little bit different. Odd months have a specific word, whereas even months have a, like, theme. And there's two ways you can do it. You can either read as many books that fit that word slash theme as you can in, I believe, the first week of the month. Or you can take it as a reading challenge, and each month 
read a book that fulfills the prompt for that month. I'm choosing to do it that way. And the book I have chosen for this month's word, which is dream, is The Circus of Stolen Dreams by Lorelai Saverin. I literally checked my physical TBR first and I had no words with dream in it. And then I checked my want to read shelf on Goodreads, which has over a thousand books in it. And this is the only one that had the word dream in it. So I legitimately have no idea what it's about and I don't want to know. I am literally going to go into it blind. I'm assuming it has something to do with a circus where stolen dreams were found. So I'm quite looking forward to finding out what this book is about because, I mean, obviously I knew what it was about at one point because I put it on my TBR, but it's been so long since I added it that I literally don't remember. But this is the book I will be reading for Buzzworthon. Next, I am going to be reading the middle grade monthly pick, which is a book club hosted by Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin and Jade from JD Ray Reads. I will link both their channels and the middle grade monthly Twitter in the description below. And the book they have chosen is Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger. I read the entire Keeper of the Lost Cities series last year. But for Christmas, my mom got me this illustrated and annotated edition, and it has exclusive deleted scenes. So I'm going to be reading this version of the book, since there will be new information and stuff for me in this book, and it won't be a total reread, as there is new stuff I can get out of it. And so I'm quite looking forward to seeing if everybody else who participates in Middle Grade Monthly, especially Gavin and Jade, love this book as much as I do. I also have a few more books out from the library. The first is Premeditated Myrtle. By Elizabeth C. Bunce. The, the sticker for the library covers that up. Um, I believe this follows a 12-year-old girl named Myrtle Hardcastle, and she solves mysteries. It says, I didn't have any suspects yet in Miss Woodhouse's death, and I couldn't prove anything, but I was starting to see a preponderance of the evidence. Old ladies in good health didn't just suddenly drop dead in the middle of the night after the total destruction of their life's work. Maybe I couldn't call for an inquest, but I certainly found Miss Woodhouse's death suspicious. More than suspicious, in fact, it was murder. So I like middle grade mysteries like this, and I'm looking forward to checking this one out. I also have out from the library The Shadows of Doom by Jennifer Bell. This is the second book in the Uncommoner series. I read the first book in November, I believe, and it follows Ivy and Seb, and they find out there's this city called Londonor where common objects sometimes have uncommon abilities, and they go on adventures down there, and they're working against this group called the Dirge, who believes that their grandmother has something that is very important to them. And so I'm assuming this will be continuing their adventures in Londonor. I'm very much looking forward to seeing what kind of common objects have uncommon abilities and what those uncommon abilities are. I really enjoyed the series and I'm looking forward to reading book two. And the last book I have that I hope to get to this month is Straight On Till Morning by Liz Braswell. This is another book in the Twisted Tale series. This one I believe is Peter Pan and it says, what if Wendy first traveled to Neverland with Captain Hook? So that's going to be the twist and I am very curious to see how that changes the story. So these are some of the books that I'm hoping to get to in the month of January. What is a book you guys hope to get to in the month of January? If you've made it this far in the video, leave me a rainbow emoji in the comment section below. Like this video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!